Hey Ryan, it's Dean, got Joss with me. He said, make sure you've got cyber insurance. I think the cyber insurance mm. uh, policy providers are gonna love us for talking about this one. Um, but and we're not paid for by them. As full disclosure, no, yeah, we yeah, have yeah. no relationship. It's just our opinion. Yes, so as a, as a company like ours, we yep. manage data uh, that belongs to our business. We also look after data that belongs to our clients. Yep. So their websites, their, their database, all of yep. that information we looked after as well. Yep. Um, so you something- call that first? First party data is your own information. And then third third. party data is that belongs to your clients. So as a real estate business, all of your clients' information, contract information, offers that have been submitted, all of those things. That is third party um, data. It doesn't belong to you, it's theirs, but you're the custodian of it. So cyber insurance is something that I think it's just, it's, for us, it certainly provides us with peace of mind if something was to happen to our company or yeah. our clients' data, yeah. um, that we at least have some peace of mind that if something, God forbid, mm. uh, did happen, yeah. it, it provides us with that level of protection, just like any other insurance product does. Mm. Um, our premiums have certainly jumped up uh, over the last 12 to 18 months because yeah. of all of these claims that, that businesses have been making, no okay. doubt. Um, but you've only got to talk about Medibank Private. Yeah. Uh, Latitude Optus. Financial, Optus, yeah. all of these companies that are in the news, what you don't see mm. is the companies, small all businesses the small. that have been hacked yeah. uh, that don't make media coverage. And that's something that every business should be um, considering, in our opinion. Cyber insurance. Cheers.